Please join me for the flag salute. Ready, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, jury selection begins in a critical phase of the trial of Andrea Yates, accused of drowning her five children. Plus, superstar Michael Jordan in the news, the strongest words yet from Jordan, that he will be back. Good morning, America. I'm Charles Gibson. I'm Diane Sawyer, and it's Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. Michael may be back. He's saying that tendonitis. We want to tell you what we know as we know it, but we just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. One report said, and we can't confirm any of this, that a plane may have hit one of the two towers of the World Trade Center, but again, you're seeing the live pictures here. We have no further details than that. We don't know anything about what they have concluded happened there this morning. ABC's Don Daler, who is on the scene. Don, just give me some description again of what, you're, uh, what you can see now. It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Has just I didn't see a plane go in. That, that just exploded. We I just saw another plane coming in from the side. So this looks like it is some sort of a concerted Delivered. effort to attack the World Trade Center that is underway. Uh, today we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. That is the courtyard of the Pentagon. The Pentagon is indeed exactly what it's described, uh, just on the other side of the Potomac River um, from the Capitol. And there you see fires burning in the courtyard of the, of the Pentagon, confirming what we had, what we'd been told almost immediately by eyewitnesses. The Pentagon itself has caved in from the top there is much fire uh, coming out of the windows. Uh, it looks like uh, something from World War II, Peter. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Let's go to the trade tower again because we now have a. What do we have? We don't. Oh, it may be that something fell off the building. Peter, it's Don Daler down here. I'm four blocks north of the World Trade Center. The second building that was hit by the plane has just completely collapsed. It started with a gigantic rumble, folded in on itself, and collapsed in a huge plume of smoke and dust. Smoke! Get out of here! We are talking about massive casualties here at the moment, and we have... Whew. And I'm just going to add to the chaos and the trauma of the day by saying that a large plane has now crashed about 80 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Peter, it crashed in an open field. All, that's, all that you really see there is a huge crater. You can't even see it very well from our vantage point. A huge black gaping hole, as investigators are describing it. No survivors, Peter. Oh, my God. The second, the second tower. It's hard to put it into words, and maybe one doesn't need to. Both those towers have now, have now, have now gone. 
the landscape of New York City has just been changed. And one has to assume that thousands of lives have been extinguished. Good Lord, it just... This scene on the steps of the Capitol building tonight, just as the sun was going down, was very, very moving. From the mountain, to the prairie, to the ocean, why do we fall? God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. The drama department will have auditions for The Trial of Santa on Monday the 10th and Tuesday the 11th. Auditions will be held from 3.30 through 5 p.m. in J1. The Trial of the Century, Santa Claus, a.k.a. Chris Kingle, versus Emily Worthington, a.k.a. bratty nine-year-old girl. In the TV courtroom of Judge Trudy, Santa is charged with delivering the wrong present on Christmas Day. Will Santa be convicted of the heinous crime, or will Santa's 11 lawyer prove beyond a doubt that Emily was naughty or nice? This week's Wildcat of the Week is Samuel Luna. He was chosen by Miss Holbert. The next volleyball and football games are as follows. Monday, September 10th at John Muir. Athletes will be released at 3. Tuesday, September 11th at Pioneer. Athletes will be released at 2.15 and bus will leave at 2.30. Wednesday, September 12th at John Muir. Athletes will be released at 3. September. Thursday, September 13th at Pixley. Athletes will be released at 11.30 and bus will leave at 11.45. Cross Country competes Tuesday, September 11th at Citrus Middle School. Athletes will be released at 1.30. Friday's No Collar Dress-Up theme will be Mexican Heritage. Your books are available to purchase at pre-sale prices. $20 for soft cover and $25 for hard cover. Get yours while you're, the price is still at these lowest. Breakfast and lunch menu. Breakfast, PB&J, Graham Witch. Lunch, nachos and ground beef, salsa, frozen fruit cup, salad bar, and fresh assorted fruit. Have, Have a Wildcat, wildcat Day and remember Wildcat, wildcat Ops. Respect, respect for others, property, and self.